So here's a printer that I didn't even know existed up until a few days ago. As you can see, it is a Wondermaker ZR. And I do hope it is packaged well inside because it came quite dented. It apparently is a Kickstarter project. And there is one more version of this printer with uh, four tool heads, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be released a little bit later. So let's get this open and I'm going to show you a little bit more. That is not a lot of padding right here. So seems like there is more padding on the inside of the printer, I'm guessing holding the accessories, than in the box itself. It's pretty flimsy. So I did find a manual. There is some spare parts over here. Side cutter is always nice, scraper. Some trash. Do yourself a favor and skip the glue stick. Just get some real good adhesive. And also there's filament samples nowadays. It, this is a sad joke. You're telling me you can't throw in like two spools with a $800 printer? Come on. But before I even plug it in, I do need to address a couple of things. I just noticed there's some damage on the screen. No biggie. So obviously, if you look at this printer and you think to yourself that it looks really familiar, this is why. It looks like a bigger, slightly stripped down version of 85X. The extruder nozzle seems to be fairly easy to replace and get into, so no issues here. Obviously, there is a poop shoot because it is a multicolor printer. It looks kind of funny without the back on. And it is really nice open design in the back, which I like. I hate the ones on bamboo because they are tiny and they clog all the time. So this one is going to be really easy to clean out. First and obvious complaint, it is a four color printer. But as you can see, you only have two holders. And the way you are supposed to use it, put one of the spools on, feed it through, and put the other spool on and feed it through. So if you want to replace this spool, you are first going to have to remove this spool just to get access to this one. An 85X being much smaller, they figure out how to have four spools, each have a separate holder. And a proper spring-loaded one at that, this one, this one is metal. It's just, I mean, are we serious right now? And this brings me to my next point.